Hey guys, this is Brock with Doomswell, and today I want to talk about some of the features and benefits of the Doomswell Falcon. So very similar to our Neo and our Nubstep, this is going to be another surf style board in our line, but with some very different features whenever you compare the Falcon to the Neo and Nubstep. So whenever I'm typically looking at a surf style board, I usually look at the rocker profile first or how much flip is there in that nose. The reason I look at that because I don't want a board that's going to be purling all the time and also digging in the bottom of the wave whenever I'm going down to, to do a big bottom turn. So we've got a good amount of flip here in the nose to prevent those two things. And also we use a traditional pointed nose to be able to get the tightest turns possible out of your bottom turns. So as you follow that nose back, you're gonna to start to feel the width of this board. This board is actually an inch wider than, than our Neo and our Nub Step. So why do we do that? What we wanted to do is be able to get surfers in the 215 pound range all the way up to the 280 pound range onto a much shorter board because that's going to be able to get you a lot more performance. Um, and, and it'll get you off those big five, five O's and five twos that are just holding you back. So the Falcon is probably gonna be the answer for you if you're within those weight ranges and want more performance out of your board. So um, I was talking about the midsection of the board being nice and wide there, and then uh, that's almost followed out to the same width there on the tail, so that a nice wide tail is gonna be able to help uh, that wave get, you know, stay underneath that board, but also pick up that back end to help you get back into that wave. So the, the tail is nice and wide, and also you got a, a, a little squash tail back here, and that's gonna be good for doing lots of pivots, things like that. One question that I do get is, you know, with the board being so wide, is it gonna spin? It actually is very slick whenever you, whenever you surf it. It actually surprised me the first time that we ever designed this board and we surfed it. It spins like a top. I mean, it, it spins great. So don't let that be uh, something that's in the back of your mind because this board definitely does spin. So another thing that I did want to talk about was the rails of this board. Um, we are going to have some nice round rails on this board. So with rounder rails, that's where you get a lot of the drive out of your board. And if the rails are too sharp or like a piece of quarter round in your house, kind of shaped like a 90 degree angle, um, the board's going to be very slick. So what we do to uh, keep the drive up in these boards is, is round these rails out. But then as you kind of feel underneath the board, there's a nice crisp edge tucked up underneath there for the release of water whenever you do come up to the top because if your rails are too round, the water just kind of wants to wrap around those rails and doesn't want to release, and it can be, feel very sluggish and slow. So you actually need that break point underneath there. So one thing that we'd usually do uh, with rounder rails is we put a single concave from nose to tail uh, on the bottom to create more lift and speed so you get more water flow underneath here. This is a quad fin board, uh, so you can surf it as a twin fin or a quad fin if the board's too, uh, too loose. But I typically like to ride my boards as a twin fin because that gives you the optimal amount of, of uh, looseness and drive. So guys, if you guys are heavier riders, 215 to 280 pounds, um, and you guys want something that's just going to work underneath your feet, it's going to perform well, perform way better than any of the 5.0s and 5.2s that you're on now and it's gonna do airs and spins and everything that you want it to do, but in a much shorter package. Guys, I would definitely take a look at the Falcon to add to your quiver.